welcome back so we are in the second lecture of this particular module other partition function in today's lecture we will see the important ensemble that is the isobaric isothermal ensemble in the previous lecture we have seen the grand canonical and the micro canonical ensemble those are uh, not related to pressure and temperature but the one which is in this lecture is related to constant pressure and constant temperature which is what we chemical engineers usually observe okay so we will see and define the ensembles we will see thermodynamic properties and also define the partition function so over what we will do in this particular lecture we will see the ensemble in detail isobaric isothermal as the name suggests the ensemble which is constrained with a constant temperature and a constant pressure so and a number of molecules sometime it's also called as npt ensemble npt ensemble so as we proceed with our other lectures you will see this particular ensemble has lot of uh, ramification in the properties derivation and the thermodynamic estimation then we will like previously what we did for micro canonical and grand canonical ensemble we will also define on then we derive a partition function corresponding to this isobaric isothermal ensemble and then we will obtain the corresponding thermodynamic properties for example gibbs free energy the gibbs energy then enthalpy internal energy specific heats all this so what is the npt ensemble or isobaric isothermal ensemble is a system of fixed number of molecules in a container so you have fixed number of molecules in a container with flexible walls that freely allows heat flow from an infinite bath of fixed pressure and fixed temperature when we talk about flexible walls it means the particular box can contract or expand okay that's what though when your number of molecules pressure and temperature is constant what will change your volume will change so it is able to freely contract or expand so what is that expression for delta this partition function is called using this delta sign we write this delta sign as a function of npt so this we will see we will derive this expression is across the volume double summation of volume and across each states okay so it is given by e to the power of minus ei upon nv by kt into e to the power of minus pv by kt okay so you have two terms exponential we have a energy term which is the ith microstate having constant number of molecules and volume so there will be number of states and for every volume value of volume you will have corresponding number of states so obviously you will have to this v here is constant so your energy will be different based on different volume so you sum them up together you get the partition function so this is sometimes you also call it as if you see this expression ei upon nkt is nothing but again q it is a q and vt so you can relate this q so you can write down here volume v volume v so i can write here q nvt into e to the power of minus pv by kt okay so it means that uh, the term the first exponential term is nothing but the canonical partition function which is given by the dotted part and the remaining is the exponential term corresponding the particular volume so for particular volume you need to know the partition function then multiplied by the exponential into the boltzmann constant so you will get the overall partition function for isobaric isothermal ensemble so this we will derive we will see in the future uh, the slides how we can define the partition function so obviously if we know delta we can also write the probability of occurrence of a particular microstate for a particular microstate let's say what is the probability this probability will be nothing but locating a particular microstate with a energy ei and pressure p is equal to your exponential term ei which is a function of the energy term which is function number of molecules and volume okay by kt into e to the power of minus pv by kt by delta so if you are trying to find out a particular microstate 
having energy Ei, you should multiply their corresponding exponential terms that is Ei and PV. Both these terms, if you multiply them, divide by the partition function, you will get that particular probability of locating a microstate I. So, microstate is I here. So, obviously the Gibbs entropy equation for entropy prediction will also hold true here. So, you know it is the same family NPT function of NPT entropy is again equal to K double summation one on volume another one on the microstates will be the probability of locating a microstate with the energy Ei and pressure P into the product of the logarithmic term of the same expression. Okay. So, this particular P term, this capital P and this small p are different, small p is the probability and capital P is the total pressure. So, we will find out these various thermodynamic properties one by one. So, prior to that, let us now take some assumption how to derive the NPT ensemble partition function. So, what are the assumptions? All microstates with the same energy E, same volume V, the same number of particles are equally probable. This is the first postulate. It is true for whether it is canonical or grand canonical, we have seen. It is also true for the NPT ensemble. So, I can write down the probability of a particular microstate. Let us say it is a microstate with the energy E is nothing but P will I have write written here interchangingly, but in this case capital P is the probability P, that is locating a particular microstate of energy E, V and N. So, if I have a composite system which is equal to A plus B, the composite system means there are two subsystems. Similarly, what we did in our this grand canonical ensemble, we consider two systems A and B, so that these A and B makes the overall macroscopic system. So, it means these two subsystems are free to exchange energy with a common reservoir of temperature T and to expand or contract while in contact with the environment of constant pressure P. What does it mean? It means that um, if it needs to adjust its property, it will adjust its volume. So, because your pressure and temperature is in the infinite reservoir loop. So, if you want to have or equalize this pressure and temperature, so your subsystem A as well as subsystem B needs to either contract or expand. So, it is allowing it to expand or contract. So, the number of particles in each subsystem is thus fixed. So, number of fixed you will have to vary pressure and temperature to be constant you have to vary the volume. So, volume and energy there will be a change that is it will the subsystems A and B will try to adjust the volume and energy. So, this is the overall uh, ensemble let us suppose this entire area this is entire area is a thermal reservoir having constant temperature and constant pressure. So, there are two subsystems, subsystem A, subsystem B. Subsystem A is characterized by the energy Ea and volume Va. Subsystem B is characterized by energy Eb and Vb. Okay. So, it means both the subsystems are free to contract or expand. So, it is allowed both to contract expand as well as to exchange energy because the reservoir is having a thermal property which is given by temperature T. Direct outcome of this is the probability of the composite system. So, overall composite system means A plus B composite system is in a particular state with the energy Ea plus B and volume Va plus B is simply will be given as probability of locating a composite system having energy Ea plus B and volume Va plus Vb. So, it means this Vab and Eab it is nothing but the summation of Va plus Vb and the summation of Ea plus Eb that is what the general outcome is. So, the probability of locating a composite system of energy Ea plus B and volume Va plus B will be nothing but probability of locating subsystem Ea and Eb corresponding volumes with Va and Vb. As in the case of closed system, we again assume that the energies of the two systems are independent of one another. 
Moreover, by the same reasoning, the volume of one system is independent of the volume of the other system. So, this again follows the thermal reservoir because this thermal reservoir is so large, it has a constant supply of temperature as well as pressure. So, whatever changes in volume of system A and system B is independent of each other. So, if it changes or fluctuates any property within system B, it will not affect system A. Likewise, if there are any change in properties of Ea and Va of system A, it will not affect system B. Okay. With this assumption, we start with the derivation exactly in the same manner what we did for the grand canonical ensemble. So, the probability since they are mutually independent both the subsystems, so I can write down as a product of these two. The probability of locating a composite system with an energy Ea plus Eb and Va plus Bb is nothing but the product of the individual probability of locating a subsystem of having energy Ea Va into locating a probability of subsystem B which is having an energy of Eb and Vb. So, with this what we do we will again take this equation, do a derivative with respect to first energy and then we will do with respect to volume, keeping the other subsystem properties constant. So, let us write down the expression, it will be similar, but still I do, since this is a very important ensemble and you will frequently encounter in chemical engineering application, I just want to derive it for you. So, you have dou of, so let us do it first with, uh, in this case, I am doing it with respect to energy. Okay. So, it will be dou E A, I am keeping E A with respect to E A, keeping all other properties that is E B, V A and V B to be constant. So, this is nothing but dou of P A B by dou of E A plus E B at Eb, Va and Vb into D of Ea plus Eb by D of Ea, I have converting it to the total derivative. So, this is nothing but your Do of P A plus B by Do of Ea plus Eb. at constant E B, V A and V B. Why is this so? Because these two terms, if you see derivative of E A plus E B, if you do that, this E B, it will be uh, 0. So, D A and D A cancels out. So, you will have only this term, dou of the probability with respect to total energy. Likewise, I can also write down dou P A B by dou E A from the equation here above, from equation 1, from this expression, if I do with respect to uh, E A from this expression, what will I get? You will get, again, I mean, you will keep the other constants, so E B, V A, V B. If you do that from that expression, you will get the dou of uh, P A into E A V A multiplied by P B. E B V B, okay. Product of two variables with respect to E A. So this will be dou of P A into dou of E A. Obviously, the other probabilities will be constant. The expressions for E B V A V B will be constant. Okay, into P B because this is you are doing with respect to Ea, so it will only act upon the first value that is Pa, because it has a term of Ea is a function of Ea. So, this will be just be as a constant, it is Pb. Eb into Va. This is one expression. Okay. So, Again, I will get a similar expression with respect to B, dou PB by dou EB is equal to PA into EBVB. So, it means both of these terms are equal to this expression and each of this term is equal to this expression. So, it means I can equate the terms of the right hand side. So, if I do that, it means what I get is dou of PAB, 
do e a at constant e b v a and v b do of p a plus b of do of e a plus e b constant energy so this is nothing but do of p a upon do e a into p b which is a function of e b and v b ok so in a similar fashion we can also obtain d p a plus b by do e a by now it will be e b e a into v a into v b is equal to do p a plus b do of e a plus e b keeping the constants values of e b now it will be e a not it will be e a v a and v b ok so it will be do of p b e a v a and v b now you see it into p a ok now you see in equation 2 and 3 then can be equated equation 2 and 3 this can be equated because both the terms are equal to do p a upon a b plus do e a b so these two terms if i equate down and write in the next slide what we get so we will have do p a upon do e a at constant e b v b v a and v v into p b equals to do p b upon do e b keeping constant of e a v a and v b into p a ok so what i will do again i will take this p a in this side in the denominator and p b from the LHS into the denominator. So, if you do that, you will get do of ln p a. So, I will just skip the subscripts for the time being. Do e a equals to do ln p b by do e b. Okay. So, this is one expression we have got. So, now uh, similarly, what we can get is in a completely similar manner with respect to volume you will get p a upon do v a equals to do ln of p b upon do v b ok but only thing is in this case your e a e b v b is constant and in this case your e a e b and v a is constant okay so this is let's say equation 4 and let's say this is equation 5 so once i did with respect to energy and not keeping all other constants and then we also did the same procedure with respect to volume keeping other variables to be constant so you got these two equations which will be requiring so what do we have what we have is what we have to uh, here we have to see is that this ea E B V A and V B they are completely independent variables are completely independent variables independent variables it means all these E A E B E V A V B they can contract or sh expand based on the necessity of the system similarly for energies because it can exchange the energy that is it can exchange the temperature which is a thermal reservoir so both all are independent variables so with this what we can do is for the first term where we have the expression for p a by do of since it's an energy term we will make it it is a constant it is equal to minus beta because it is analogous to our GAN canonical ensemble. It should be a some function of temperature. So, it means I can write down here as 
एल एन पी एक्वल्स टू माइनस बीटा इंटू ई ए प्लस सम फंक्शन विच इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ वी ए बिकॉज द अदर प्रॉपर्टी इज वी ए सो इट विल हैव सम फंक्शन विथ ऑन वी ए सो बीटा कैन बी फंक्शन कैन बी फंक्शन ऑफ ओनली रिजर्वर ऑफ ओनली थर्मल रिजर्वर इट कैन नॉट ए फंक्शन ऑफ इधर ऑफ द सब सिस्टम्स सो यू नो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ बीटा बीटा विल बी वन अपॉन के टी सो विल सी दैट बट साई ए साई ऑफ वी ए इट्स एन अनस्पेसिफाइड फंक्शन अनस्पेसिफाइड फंक्शन ऑफ वी ए ओके also from the other expression where we have the derivative term with respect to volume i can write down do ln of pa upon do of va this is nothing but what we will do it's again a constant which is equal to gamma okay so which leads to this expression ln of pa equals to gamma into va plus psi into e again this psi is this gamma here is a constant that can only be a function of the reservoir so it is related to volume like beta is related to temperature and psi of ea is an unspecified function of va so we have to make some approximation to find a general solution of this pa in terms of both this gamma as well as beta so what is that solution let us see so if you combine both the expressions so i can have a general solution which is equal to ln of pa of which is the function of ea and va is nothing but i write here c dash minus beta ea plus gamma va so it means this c dash actually subsumes both the function psi and phi both the function so it's a constant so if you it's a constant or i can write down pa ea into va i can write down this may so i can write a constant c into e to the power of minus beta e a plus gamma v a so now again as before the constant c so here constant c is equal to nothing but e to the power of c dash then so now find to const we have to find constant c this constant c again we use a normalization approach so v goes from 0 to infinity means any volume it can take and each volume will have a corresponding number of states the probability of locating that particular state ek such that it has a volume v if i sum them up it will be unity so if this is unity so it means that the constant c is nothing but 1 upon double summation of v goes from 0 to infinity and then all k and you have e k upon e upon or i can write down here since this, this probability is like this so i will write this expression so if you write this expression it will be simply be equal to e to the power of gamma v a e to the power of gamma v minus beta e a minus beta e k okay so so in general i have removed the subscript so it is this constant because this summation is 1 so this summation is 1 what i do i do a summation on both sides of this term is there will be a double summation so c will be 1 upon this entire term with a double summation that's what we have got we are now in a position to get the overall uh, function n beta and gamma that is equal to 1 by c which is equal to x volume goes from 0 to infinity this is k e to the power of minus gamma v minus beta e k okay so this is your expression for the partition function and the probability of locating a particular microstate with energy e k in a volume v then it will simply become minus beta e k into e to the power of gamma v upon delta these two are very important expression let's take equation 
an expression 7 which actually defines the partition function and probability ok. So, now let us go for the thermodynamic properties. So, first let us define what is the average values. So, average value of volume I can define by definition is given as summation V goes from 0 to infinity across all the microstates into V into probability of E k into V. So, please understand this expression. So, the average volume is nothing when you sum all the volumes and for each volume we will have k microstates and for locating each microstate the probability is p. So, you multiply with the instantaneous value of the volume into this probability and sum them up across all the volumes and across all the individual related microstates with volume you will get the average volume. So, this is the way you describe the average property. So, likewise the E bar or the internal energy is also defined in a similar manner. You go across all different volumes and, uh, and assign to each volume you have k microstates nothing but you multiply E k into the probability of occurrence of a particular microstate. This is the way you do it. So, this I can write down simplify it down further summation V goes from 0 to infinity then across all k I can write down this as E k and then I write this probability in terms of the exponential term divided by the partition function. What is that? E to the power of minus beta into E k into E to the power of gamma V upon delta this. So, if you see this expression, if you consider this is nothing but minus of do ln delta by do beta at constant gamma. Why it is so? Because if you see what is delta, see the delta is equal to this uh, just I will just write here your delta is here equal to double summation in V and K e to the power of minus gamma V into e to the power of minus beta E K. Okay. Now, you take the ln term first. If you take the ln term here, so you will have this expression of e to the power of gamma V into e to the power minus beta E K. Then you take with respect to beta keeping gamma as constant. So, if you take gamma as constant, so obviously you will be having the expression having only ln gamma by dou beta, you will be having both these terms together. So, you will have this E k will be outside because you are doing a derivative with respect to beta. So, E k will be outside. So, when E k is outside, it is here, then the other two terms will be as it is. It will be as it is. And then you will have since it is double summation, it will, you will be dividing with another delta. So, this is a delta. So, this entire term I can write down as negative of derivative of ln delta by dou beta. Okay. So, this is one expression you can uh, write down. Then uh, we come back to the entropy term minus k v into E k. This is the term. So, what you can do now you can substitute the values of probabilities here. Let us write the probabilities values here. So, S is equal to minus k into V E k into P E k into V. So, now take ln of this probability. So, what is the probability? If you remember the probability term is the probability I just write here so that you come to know what we are writing it down. So, I write here like this small p this small p is nothing but minus beta e k into e to the power of my gamma v by delta. Now, take ln now take ln of this term ln. So, ln of you take this term. So, you will have is minus beta e k as it is plus 
gamma v and then you have a delta so it will if you take logarithmic term it will be minus of ln delta this is the term okay now what you do is you apply this probability on each of this individual term so if you apply on this probability so it means that this probability when you multiply by e k this is nothing but this term e bar so if you multiply this with this this term is nothing but you will be having is beta into k into e bar this e bar comes from this expression okay so beta will be as it is minus minus becomes positive and e k into this probability term is e bar so e bar has come beta k e bar again when this probability is actually operated on this gamma v it will become gamma into this term v v bar so it will be simply but it's a minus sign is there it will minus gamma v into k so i will write here v bar here and then this term minus ln delta into minus k so obviously this probability when it is multiplied this is a constant term so this will be unity so minus k into minus ln delta it will be plus k ln of delta so this is the entropy thus is given by this expression so what is this expression you need to know the internal energy and then you know the average volume and you know the partition function if you know this you can calculate the entropy so let us simplify this further so let us me write down again the expression for that so it will be s now from statistical thermodynamics and classical thermodynamics i will write two expressions so from statistical thermodynamics it will be s is equal to e bar e bar upon e t minus n mu upon t plus p v bar upon t and what did we get from the stat term equation just prior to this slide b k e bar minus gamma into k into v bar plus k ln delta so let us suppose this is equation a let us suppose this equation b from classical thermodynamics and statistical thermodynamics now compare the terms so you will have to compare these two terms then okay then you have to compare these two terms and obviously the one left is between this term and this term so if i write the analogy among the corresponding terms you will get beta is equal to 1 by kt this is from i compare this e bar upon t equal to beta k into e bar so it means beta is nothing but 1 by kt which is the obvious known result then you will have gamma if i compare the volume term then you will have gamma equal to minus p by kt okay and remaining term is this so you will have minus n mu upon t so you will have minus n mu upon t is equal to k ln delta okay or minus n mu is equal to kt ln delta so these are the three important observation we get by comparing the expressions of statistical thermodynamics and classical thermodynamics we will be needing them again so with these three analogy done what we will do we will try to write down some further simplification so this v bar i can also write down what is this v bar we have already written it down v bar is just to make it simple it is nothing but v goes from v goes from 0 to infinity and then v is equal to k all the microstates v e to the power of minus beta e k into e to the power of gamma v by delta this we already know so if we know this let us write can i write like this so can i write like this let's say v bar i can also write down as d ln delta d gamma same thing so if i take ln delta i will take the delta value take the ln of that and then take the derivative of gamma again since it is operated on gamma so the only the v will come out other terms will remain the same 
So this is ln delta means I can write down 1 by delta upon dou delta by dou gamma. Dou delta by dou gamma means I am operating only on this term, this term remains as it is. So I can write in this manner or I can also replace this gamma here with this minus p by kt. If I do that, so it becomes minus kt of dou ln delta by dou p. Okay, so I am replacing gamma with minus p by kt. I am observing a uh, average volume as the derivative of ln of delta with respect to pressure multiplied by minus kt. So now, another term which I can write down or simplify is that this term dou ln delta upon dou t of p, this term, derivative term, I can write down as this. or I can expand it like this. So, the summation, I write down the terms here, V 0 to infinity, then all the k values, e to the power of, now I can write down this term, it, it is minus B, P V by k t into e k by k t, because this is e k upon k t. Okay, by dou t. Okay, I just written delta here. So, it is gamma here is e k by gamma is here minus p by k t. It is minus beta 1 by k t. So, e k by k t it will be minus only here. Okay, so this is the entire term for delta. Okay, now what you can do is I can also write it in this manner 1 by k t square you do the day temperature term because there are two terms here with having temperature p v by k and then again e k by k. So, in this case this p v by k will be outside. So, it will be v and e k by k t e k will be coming outside it will be e bar. So, v bar and e bar will then be coming out one by one. It becomes if you simplify it it becomes this summation v goes from 0 to infinity then all the microstates then you will have simply e k plus p v e k plus p v e to the power of p v by k t minus e k by k t ok. See this is first suppose you take this as constant operate on this. So, it will be minus and minus then it will be cancelling out. So, you will have minus of t it will cancel out it becomes positive and then you will have the term of e k. So, the e k comes here again if you operate on this p v will come out. So, p v is coming out here. So, I can write down this entire term if I simplify I can write down in this manner it is nothing but dou ln delta by dou t of p is nothing but e bar. So, this is e bar and this is p v bar plus p v bar by k t square. So, this is an important conclusion here that the internal energy plus p v bar by k t square is equal to dou ln delta by dou t. So, likewise let us clarify it further. What are the other thermodynamic properties we can get? So, it means that e bar is equal to k t square dou ln delta by dou t upon p minus p v bar ok or I can write down this as k t square dou ln delta by dou t of p and now p v bar I can replace v bar. So, if I want to replace v bar it will be minus p k t dou ln delta by dou p. So, it means if I want to compute the internal energy I need to know the derivative of this partition function with respect to temperature and pressure. Also h I can write down h is nothing but e bar plus p v bar. Now, from this expression so if this is true e bar plus p v bar is nothing but k t square dou ln delta by dou t of p 
this is your h bar then now you take the specific heat capacity so you will have to do do h bar by do t at constant pressure so it will be do of do t into k t square do ln delta upon do t upon constant p so if you do the derivative there will be two terms because you have temperature term k t square here also delta term here so it will be 2 k t 2 k t do ln delta by do t of p plus k t square then again do square ln delta by do t square so this is your cp expression now likewise let us come to the entropy part again the entropy part I can write down from stat make as E bar apply P V bar upon T minus N bar mu by T. Now this E bar upon P V bar by T from the previous expression you know this is given as so I will just write down here from the previous expression we have already obtained E bar by P V bar by K T square we are obtained is equal to dou ln delta by dou t of p this we have already obtained in the previous slide so i will just replace this here so let us write it will be dou ln delta by dou t of p since it's by temperature so i will have only one temperature here it will be kt so it will be into kt now into kt then this minus n bar mu will be written as plus k ln delta because we have this term minus n bar mu by t is equal to k ln delta. So negative negative signs here cancels out so this becomes only k ln delta or I can write down this entropy s as equal to s equal to simply I can combine these two terms I can write down as dou t into ln t upon so this is your entropy term so what is left then the Gibbs energy term Gibbs energy term is nothing but h bar minus t s so now what we have found out h bar so from expression let us say this is 8 and let us say this is 9 from 8 and 9 if you write down this expression dou ln delta t by dou t upon p minus t into s what is this s term this entire term this s term is dou ln delta upon dou t into k t so k t into t is become k t square so i write here k t square then minus t into i am just opening the bracket so again minus t into this term minus k t into ln delta okay so it means g is equal to this entire term cancels out you only have minus kt ln of delta so this is your gibbs energy so you have expression for gibbs energy you have expressions for entropy here you have expression for heat capacity enthalpy internal energy everything you have in terms of the isobaric isothermal partition function so this is where we conclude here so we have got the expressions we have derived the partition function first and then obtained thermodynamic properties using the partition function as before i will again ask you to go through the other partition function this is the chapter 5 of sandler's book where the derivations of this partially for isothermal isobaric ensemble is given thank you mm -hmm.